So, a friend of mine asked me if I wanted to test this phone. And I was like, I tested it like three years ago. I had it when it just came out. It was shit phone. It was getting too hot. The battery was horrible. And the uh, camera quality was under pair with the phone that came out that year. But he told me, this is not just the basic S20 Plus. This is the Snapdragon version. The one that was available, well, not here in Europe. Okay, so, my uh, excitement peaked after that, and I decided, yeah, hell yeah, I want to test this, and so I did. I played with it for a few days, and here is two things I can tell you. First of all, Samsung is a shitty company that gives Exynos processors in Europe. And second, this is probably the best or one of the best phones I've ever tested. Okay, so uh, let's check some specs. This came out almost three years ago, and uh, for its time, it had great specs. It had uh, uh, AMOLED uh, 2K resolution, 120 frames per second. Unfortunately, you cannot have it both. You can only have it at Full HD 120 frames per second, or you can have it at 60 frames per second, but 2K resolution. And now this is the interesting part. I read it, I read somewhere that Samsung can actually enable this phone to have a 2K resolution on 120 frames per second, but only on a Snapdragon version. And they didn't want to do that because that would be the proof that their Exynos CPUs are shit. So they didn't enable it for anyone. So yeah, thank you, Samsung. Okay, so uh, great screen, very visible outside, very nice colors, contrast. Whatever you wish for, you get in this screen. It is one of the best. As for the CPU, it is a Snapdragon version, Snapdragon 865 with 5G modem, and 5G modem is great here. Uh, as for the RAM, this one has 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 of internal storage, and you can put a micro SD card on it. Okay, so that's great. Uh, as for the battery, 4,500 milliamps with 25 watts uh, charging and 50 watts wireless charging. So yeah, uh, these specs are even today, if not top of the line, then near it. But what uh, uh, gives this phone edge over the any newer phone that comes out is its software support. Okay, so this guy, this guy here, <laughs> It already has Android 13, so yeah, uh, it is, uh, just a second, it is One UI 5 and Android version 13. So how crazy is that? Almost three years old phone already has the new software update. And let me tell you one thing, uh, I love this software. It finally did some things right that were bugging me all along. First of all, Check the one hand mode. Okay, so finally, decent way to activate one hand mode and the real one hand mode that uh, makes the whole screen just a bit shorter so you can reach anywhere and double tap it and it will be uh, back to the normal. So uh, the only thing that bugs me that I cannot have uh, Google uh, feed here. I, I only have option for Samsung free. Maybe there is a way, but I couldn't find it. But yeah, uh, some small things, let's say like this. Uh, I'll go to Google Photos, just a second. And let me get any photo, okay? So when I want to share it, uh, it gives me options like Instagram. So if you know on other phones like uh, like Huawei or Xiaomi, you have all this type like Instagram story, Instagram direct, Instagram this, Instagram this, and here you just tap on it and then you have it under the sub menu. Those are some small things that are just great. And I have to tell you that the haptic system on this phone is just amazing. Every press, every touch you do is great. Uh, okay, I locked the screen with a double tap. I didn't know I could do that, <laughs> but obviously yes. So I haven't even rolled in my uh, face because it was uh, it was unnecessary. 
because the fingerprint scanner is just so damn fast and accurate it unlocks every damn time so yeah this you will not get on Exynos version please Samsung for God's sake finally give entire world the same uh, same processors in the phones okay so uh, RAM management is another thing that's very impressive on this phone so last night I was in Google Photos okay I was scrolling all the way down to the 2018 imagine my shock Today, when I reopen Google Photos, <laughs> and the app was still on the same date everywhere. I haven't experienced that on any other phone. Not a Xiaomi, not a Huawei, Realme, Apple. No phone has RAM management like this one. And now, the thing I'm wondering is, okay, how about getting myself an S22 Plus or Ultra with a Snapdragon? But shit, I can't have it. Why? Because I live in Europe. I'm a peasant from Europe, so I need to have excellent shit here with AMD chips. Okay, uh, let's talk uh, camera. So yeah, you have a triple camera setup at the back. Ultra wide camera, main camera and 3x camera. Uh, ultra wide and main cameras are great. With 3x camera, it's kind of mixed bags because it's not best uh, real uh, 3x zoom. It kind of just crops in into 64 megapixel sensor, so the photo quality is sometimes great and sometimes shit. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, enter the camera. Uh, just a second. Uh, okay, so here is your camera interface. So switching before lenses is very fast, and you do not notice it. And it's great things. Uh, as soon as you go zooming, you get all the zoom options here. So this is the one thing I miss on uh, Huawei, let's say. As for the video, you can go all the way to do 8K, 8K video shooting, but the 8K video is not as nearly as good as, let's say, Mi 10T Pro or Mi 11. So yeah, uh, you also have a uh, ultra steady mode here uh, near the control. Very, very uh, good mode when you're running, walking and stuff like that and uh, of course there's a portrait mode it works very well i'll show you a sample later and under more you have night mode that is just amazing the night mode is great i haven't even need, have a need to install gcam on this phone okay because the night mode works great the hdr on any photo works great i even took the shot with the p40 p30 and this guy in low light shooting at the moon and this guy fucking crushes the balls of those phone but it's only because it has a great chip in it a chip that is great at uh, managing photos uh, layers hdr night mode processing stabilization everything the exynos shit cannot do that okay uh, the other thing i really like about uh, samsung's camera software is dual video recording so here uh, you can see me and here you can see back so it's good for vlogging or stuff like that, I don't know. Okay, uh, when you switch, it's like this. And okay, so yeah, I see that in uh, Xiaomi, but not in Huawei or any other phone. Okay, let's take a photo. Let's take it with a zoom out. So you can see it, it's kind of more zoomed out when you use it, but it's just a software gimmick. As for the front facing video, uh, it can do, go to full, uh, 4K uh, 60 frames per second. So yeah, very, very decent video. And for the back video, it can go to 8K, but only 30 frames per second versions uh, are available on all lenses. When you go 60 frames per second, you can see how you just lose the zoom the lens and ultra wide lens. So yeah, uh, I probably use it just on... Uh, uh, 4k 30 frames per second and i have to say it's great to have all options here to switch videos uh, resolutions and yeah few more things battery amazing okay so uh you can get easily six hours on screen of time with this guy all day on 5g wireless on bluetooth watch connected oh yeah and huawei health works great with this one and it started to fuck up with my huawei p30 so yeah, uh, as I said, uh, where was I? Uh, 
yeah, Huawei uh, works great, battery life is amazing, uh, 5G connectivity is just great, it never drops, the sound quality, the voice quality is everything, uh, you have uh, stereo speakers, one here, and one at the bottom, so yeah, this for me is probably 9 out of 10 phone, if it had a real zoom camera, it would be 10 out of 10, but yeah, Okay, uh, I'll switch to my PC now to show you just a few photos to let you see how how good camera is. Okay, so I'll show you a few photos now. But first, let me show you that comparison with uh, P30 and P40. So, here you go. You have three photos. You have uh, P40, P30 and... S20 plus first of all look at the doors here in the middle Look how well exposed they are on Samsung. Okay, that's the first thing second thing look at the moon Look how P30 kind of over blew it uh, Very very much uh, P40 did okay job, but the best uh, ring and structure and everything is on Samsung and please know that Samsung has a same sensor as P30 and two times smaller sensor than P40 so it really is great uh, great uh, uh, camera software and uh, great uh, CPU that does all the background computing of photo uh, also when you look at the shadows you can see how the shadows are kind of very shitty on Huawei phones here. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Huawei P30 and P40. But for me, Samsung just takes the win. Okay, uh, let's go to the... Yeah, these are all photos taken last couple of days with, with uh, Samsung S20+. Plus. So I'll show you a few of them. Okay. Uh, where should we start? Some things I can show you, some things I can't. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, so this was last night, and it is. Uh, I don't think this was a night mode, this was just automatic night mode, like from the hand. And you can see that the photo is sharp enough. And the highlights are preserved. You know how on other phones on night modes, especially in Huawei, this would all be kind of white. So here it's kind of preserved. So I like that. Okay. So this is, let me see. Yeah, yeah. This is ultra wide shot early this morning. As you can see, it's kind of shit. It's all smudged here. So ultra, ultra wide are always used during the good light or for the video. For this thing, you all get the shit details. This is 1x. This is fairly decent amount of noise. Uh, not many details lost. And this is 3x and 3x is kind of shit because in the low light it doesn't have a real optical zoom. It kind of crops in. So yeah. But what you gonna do? Okay. Uh, okay. These are from also this morning. I just kind of wanted to see how good was uh, Samsung at uh, focusing. Because I was in the car, this was signaling left and right, and it's still kind of focused on it neatly, and it's a relatively short photo. So yeah, good for you, Samsung. Okay, this is 3x shot uh, in my mirror. This was kind of usable, but you know, you just know if you took Huawei or S22 Plus or something, that the real 3x zoom would be uh, just a bit better. Okay, so this is also the, that 3x zoom. Yeah. Kind of, colors are good, HDR is good, everything is good. Detail is also kind of good, but it's all kind of scaled up, I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, this is 1x, 1x is just amazing. Okay, so this was very hard to shoot, because this, everything was dark. And here it was very, very bright. So, it also did a good job, it controlled these highlights, and it kind of preserved detail in shadow. This is the, uh, the top that you can expect from a small sensor that you get on the phone. Uh, I haven't tested any phone with one inch sensor, but for now this is, for me, as good as it gets. Okay, same thing, sun was coming up here, shadows, 
Details preserved, highlights preserved. Great. Okay, just uh, our national theater. As you can see, details very, very nice. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what else did I do. Shut off. Oh, yeah. So, this is uh, 1x. It's directly into the sun. I can't describe to you how bright this was, okay? I haven't took this shot with my P30, but if I did, this whiteness, it will be all the way like here, how bright it was. So HDR, very nice. And this is the same shot with ultra white. Usable, okay. Just a standard uh, shot of the coffee. Uh, okay, so this, I, I, I managed to do this. This is the 3x shot with, uh, uh, it kind of cropped in the main camera. And this one is when it used its uh, di different, just big, sensor to, to crop in and you can see the difference is quite big so yeah more details here you can see more detail you can see how better hdr here is on the main sensor it just kind of is colors are a bit warm and natural but when you look at the details this 3x shot it's much better than just cropped in main camera but it's still not on the level i would want it to be okay let's see here uh, just a few normal shots everything is well exposed okay this is 10x shot this is just rubbish and this is i took the shot of my dog okay first of all let me show you this also 3x zoom not bad but not the best out there but uh, i believe s22 plus has the real 3x camera so it will be interesting to get that one with the snapdragon cpu Okay, just a bunch of leaves with 3x, you can see how details are lost. 1x, great quality. My dog having the cuddles. Not to worry, this is not cage. He has all the fucking land in the back that he can go run to, but he just likes to cuddle. Okay, so he can go anywhere here to have fun and everything. So yeah. Okay, my cat, <laughs> 1x. This is 3x, so yeah. Uh, 1x. 1x, 3x, kind of shitty. Uh, so, I will show you now a few camera samples uh, uh, from video, sorry, a few video samples. And this is what I can tell you uh, 60 frames per second video has better image stabilization than 30. I don't know why or how, it's usually the other way around, but I like to use. 30 frames per second because all lenses are available but yeah image quality on the samsung top notch you cannot go wrong with it uh, also this is 3x uh, camera this one kind of looks actually okay i can't i can't just figure out when the phones when the photos are good and when they are shit okay but yeah s22 plus with snapdragon it might be the perfect phone for me okay i'll show you a few video samples now Okay, to conclude, this is one hell of a phone, and I really, really hope we finally get Snapdragon versions of S line here in Europe with S23. Thank you for staying to the end of the video, and see you in the next one.